tits bigger guy um, is what I'm realizing. Okay. And ma'am, and that's my point. You ladies all feel like, listen, you ladies all feel like you're the exception to the rule. And then when someone like myself comes along and gives you a, a dose of reality, instead of just accepting it, it's like, yeah, but, yeah, but I'm special. You don't know any men on this level that are not your father, that aren't related to you. That means you don't know these men. You don't know where to go get them. You don't know what they want. But you're still saying, pick me. They don't want mid-30-year-old baby mamas. I'm trying to be polite, man, but they don't want those. Can I ask you a question? Did you hear what I said? Yes. Why is that so... What's up, folks? So, not to pick on any particular woman, but specifically black women. Black women really think that because they have amazing body, which they do, right? They are a gift from God and that every man should, ex should just accept them. Despite their attitude, despite their past, every man should accept them. This is why a lot of women are unhappy. It's because they base their self-worth based on the money they make. A successful man does not really care about how much money you make. The exchange is your youth. The exchange is your ability to be a mother. The exchange is your ability to nurture and breathe healthy children. So a successful man have a total different way of looking at or evaluating. He doesn't really care much about what she's doing and how much she have. He cares about the qualities that she has, okay? So, and that's the problem with a lot of women. A lot of them are unhappy because they are unable to self-evaluate themselves properly from an internal perspective. They are not able to actually be truthful with who they are. You see how she said, yeah, I'm average. If I take off my lashes, if I take off my, my makeup, if I take off this, then all of a sudden you're not even average anymore. You see, average at best when you have all of these fake things on. But meanwhile, you want a man that makes six figures. You want a man that have that is six feet tall, at least. You want a man that have a six pack. And here you are. Nothing that about you is actually real. If you you need two hours, three hours to put yourself together, but you want a man to just wake up and be perfect. And it's like that's just such a delusional reality that women live in to the point where they end up being single. What makes women actually think they deserve a six-figure man, right, is because maybe in their younger years, they have slept with plenty of those men. But those men don't necessarily want them for a long term because they see them as average and therefore use them for sex. And then they continuously think that if they work on making money and up their finances, then that will make them more attractive attractive to a six-finger male. Like she said, because she has been making at least th six figures the last three years, she feels like she deserves a six-figure male. Meanwhile, she is a single mother, 35-year-old, and she thinks that her body actually she is suffice. You see, her face is average, but she said her body is not average. It's like literally black women really think that having a nice pair of titties and a nice perky butt is an all access pass to every man's heart. You see, one of the main things that is actually attached directly with success is your ability to control your sexual drive. So successful men don't really care much about the fact that your body is banging. In fact, it is expected for you to have your body intact, for you to have been taking care of yourself. But it's not, it is not the uh, all, qua all qualifier. 
And I think that's what women actually uh, uh, kind of miss. And they don't really understand that because they're not judging the situation from from a from an objective view. You really just hit her up with a brick of reality. And she really didn't know how to take it. So she tried to go around and trying to flip the conversation to the point where he just got upset and said, it's, this is just not working. You see, I don't think a lot of men or on the internet making videos on the topic of women to actually destroy their image in, in a way and speak in a condescending way about them to put them down for whatever reason. I don't think that's the case. The whole idea is we're trying to find a way to create some balance. Because believe it or not, it's the masculine men that's going to bring back balance into the world. Because the feminine men is going along with everything she wants, with every demand. The masculine men is saying, no, you either do it this way or I'm not with you. And she has to conform. That girl literally represent the majority of women, of black women that are single mothers, especially if they're single mothers. They think because they have money, they have a nice job, they are, they have a, their, their titties are still perky and they still have a nice butt. They think they are the, you know, the ultimate gift to a six figure guy. They, she literally said she don't think a 20 year old has anything to do with, anything to bring to the table compared to her when the opposite is true. She don't have much to bring to the table but the 20 year old on the other hand has a lot more to bring to the table to a successful man as, as opposed to her. So she is, she is completely delusional in, in her own reality is that she attached her self worth based on the fact that she's making a little bit of money because of that, she passed on men that she could potentially be happy with. Why? Because well, she feel like they're not making enough money. They're not six figure men. They don't have, they're not six feet tall. They're not, you know, pretty body or whatever. And they're not making as much money. So to her, she only deserve a six figure male. So I'm glad the video came out because it gives, it, it, it provide an insight to women that, that, that kind of fall into this delusional reality. And they stay there until they end up being miserable in their late 40s and 50s, and then it's cats in wine every day, and then the world is unsafe. So you have to be honest with yourself. If you take all the makeup, all the eyelashes, all the wig, all the um, whatever else, and all the nails, all the fake stuff about you, on a scale of one to 10, like he said, we, you cannot use seven. You evaluate that and then you pick, be honest and pick where you are. And then you find yourself a man that is within that range. That is just simple. Like you, you know, we all have to do that. Be honest with ourselves and find someone that actually suit us. If not, then you're never going to be happy because then everyone, you know, you'll have people that come into your life just to, just to pass on the situation. So I'm glad this video came out and um, I hope women take heed to it. So, cheers.